Well, I guess today's as good a day as any to talk about every wooden boat's constant companion, rot. We all hate rot, every wooden boat owner hates rot, uh, but you cannot get away from it because it is everywhere. Unfortunately, wherever you find water uh, on a boat, uh, particularly fresh water, uh, you will find rot. So the problem that's happened in here, basically it's two deck planks. We uh, had a box uh, on deck that was for the uh, gas bottle. Uh, it was screwed down into the deck and where it's not been bedded on properly, water has been able to seep into those screw holes. And over time, they've made the wood go wet. The rot spores have got in, it's attacked the wood. And then there's several different uh, rot spots that have happened. In the end, we decided to take the two boards out and we're gonna try and replace it with one board. So we've got all the rocks under here. It's very crumbly. Sort of very damp, classic wet rot, unfortunately. So, as you can see, this is all good timber that's come out here. Lovely, uh, lovely smell to it as well. It's a pitch pine. So this is forward of the of the rot spot, and then if you look over here at the drillings that I was getting out from here, you see the differences. Small little bits. The grain has gone. It's rubbish. So the rot goes up to here. Um, and there's a deck beam that goes across here. So what I'm going to do, I've decided, originally I was going to try and patch, uh, patch these bits here and patch this bit over here and patch this bit. And I thought, for the, what it's worth, because uh, the rot, you could, I drilled these little pilot holes here, but it was a bit dry and crumbling here, so you could tell this was infected with the rot. This was very nice, actually, this bit here. You can see the, dis the different colors. So that's a bit dry, crumbly, rubbish. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, see the grain there. Um, so, draw that was right through. I'm going to take this bit right out. Right. Classic example where it's going rotten. Around that nail head there, it just crumbles, rubbish. As opposed to this bit, a bit more golden. Cracks, you hear that? You would not believe the grip in those nails. So we're just now moving on to cutting the halving. Like I say, it's got to be inch and a half. So this, this is three inches here. So we're going to make it inch and a half up. And then we're going to clear off the top inch and a half up to this line that goes across here. Uh, a router would be the easiest thing way of doing that and clear it out. But dear old Uncle Derek's taking that for his steam wagon. So just got the uh, mallet and chisel. And uh, what we're going to do, I've just used the big drill just to take out some of the body and we can clean this up and square it all up. So come over to me old man's just to see what timber we can find. It's got a little bit of a stack left from the timber that we had when we did the restoration, but it really is the scrag end. So we're having a bit of a fish around to see what we can do. Thank you. 
Where'd you get all this timber from then, Dad? Most of it came from the uh, British Empire paper mills jetty at North Fleet on the Thames. I managed to get hold of about four Arctic lorry loads of it, and they were 14 or 16 inch piles, anything up to 40 foot long. That's pretty much what we used to rebuild the barge. Beautiful. Thank you. 